What's up guys, Dave Ranecki coming at you with another ingredient breakdown. And today we're gonna to talk about the seventh core lifeline product, and that is gonna be longevity. So Aaron's gonna post up the picture of the product right here in front of the screen here, so you guys can see what that imagery looks like. And we're gonna run down through this product. So you may be asking, well, what is longevity really going to incorporate? Well, longevity, it, the way that I think about it is increasing life expectancy and decreasing the speed or the rate of, of aging as much as we can. Now, uh, we're gonna talk about that it's very hard to uh, negate that, that normal natural aging process, but we can mitigate it as much as we can through our lifestyle and through some other added remedies that we may need to incorporate or can incorporate in the form of supplementation. Of course, nutrition is gonna always be there, so anything we can do from a nutritional standpoint is gonna be important but those supplements do have an importance as well for that small percentage of where we can actually benefit from them. So aging is a natural process and among the causes of aging, um, things such as shortening of our telomeres, which is a vital part of our DNA. Um, studies have also shown that reducing damage to organelles that are within our cells and especially the mitochondria is a strong predictor of overall longevity. So longevity as a product is gonna be a main focus of improving mitochondrial function and support. So mitochondria as the powerhouse of the cell um, and the structure responsible for converting the food that we're intaking into usable energy in the form of what's called adenosine triphosphate or ATP, the health of our mitochondria is an integral and optimal health um, and bodily function. In terms of bodybuilding, this optimized function and health of the mitochondria may translate to even more effective muscle growth, reduction of body fat, recovery time and overall uh, athletic performance, which are all things that we may be wanting and shooting for as, you know, as healthy uh, individuals leading an active lifestyle. For someone who may not be into that lifestyle, just increasing our life expectancy and having a, a normal functioning human body is, is an overall goal of those individuals. So we already talked about what mitochondria really are in the most layman's terms. Um, so we're gonna break into this uh, product right now. So Aaron's gonna pop up the supplement facts right here on the screen and we're gonna run through this. So the first ingredient here is quercetin and hydrus. So quercetin, often classified as a key flavonoid um, that is present in a wide variety of fruits and vegetables, uh, is known for mainly having a high antioxidant content uh, which can help you know, reduce inflammation that is you know, surrounding our body, including the cells that are within our body. Additionally, benefits have put emphasis on quercetin's ability to affect mitochondrial processes in a positive way. So among these benefits have been seen through modulation of mitochondrial biogenesis pathways, mitochondrial membrane potential, oxidative respiration, and ATP anabolism, and mitochondria-induced apoptosis, which is cell death. So one in vivo study performed on rats, uh, response to actual quercetin administration over the course of seven days, Look at changes in mitochondrial biogenesis, uh, which is the formation of new mitochondria in skeletal muscle and of the brain, and on endurance exercise tolerance. What these results showed was increases in key mitochondrial related markers, as well as were associated with an increase in both maximal endurance capacity and voluntary wheel running activity. So the rats were running on those wheels, they were able to go longer and push harder. So these benefits along with more promising studies have con uh, been conducted show how effective quercetin supplementation can be in improving mitochondrial function and enhancing the human body's overall performance. Uh, in addition to the performance benefits, mitochondrial biogenesis stimulation can play an important role as an adaptive mechanism in the response cells have to different stressors as well as provide a protective mechanism against a broad range of acute and chronic diseases that are often manifested in mitochondrial dysfunction. So quercetin is an essential component of this. It plays a lot of roles, and that's why we wanted to include it in this uh, mitochondrial support formula. The next ingredient we're gonna talk about is beta nicotinamide mononucleotide, and we're actually using the trademarked form from NNB called BioNMN. So nicotinamide mononucleotide, um, I'm just gonna abbreviate it as NMN, is a ribonucleotide, which is a simple structural unit of RNA. So we have DNA and then we also have RNA, which are both vital components of our body's cells. NMN is the direct precursor of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD+, and is considered a vital component to cellular increases in NAD levels. 
So NAD is an essential coenzyme that's actually required to produce ATP, which as we talked about is adenosine triphosphate, or the fuel that's used in almost all the cells of our body for all the functions that our body does. As we age, NAD levels naturally decline, which in turn can lead to less than optimal functioning and ultimately the onset of disorders like obesity, insulin resistance, and impaired cognitive function. While humans cannot absorb NAD directly, use of NAD precursors like NMN can prove to be beneficial for maintaining these, the levels of NAD within our body, which can prove extremely beneficial. Bio-NMN from NMB emphasizes enhanced bioavailability so that the full benefit of this ingredient is able to be achieved at the highest level. NMN supplementation has a wide range of benefits that has an influence on nearly all of our body's systems functions, from brain and cardiovascular improvements, suppression of age-related adipose tissue inflammation, neuroprotection, hormonal health, endurance and strength, as well as mitochondrial function leading to improved longevity. So in the context of improving muscle endurance and strength, our skeletal muscles require significant amounts of vital energy molecules in order to maintain their functionality, stability, and strength. So they need this energy in order to do what they need to do. It's just like for us, we need food in order to, you know, continue to do the things that we need to do on a daily basis. It all happens at the cellular level for us. So NAD is required in order to metabolize these molecules, thus our muscles can greatly benefit from a steady supply of its building blocks, such as NMN. With the mitochondria at the root of a lot of these functions, it can be heavily influenced with a steady supply of NAD. And that's really where bio-NMN is gonna be important, is improving our body's levels of NAD+. Pro-GBB, or gamma butyrobetaine ethyl ester, is the next ingredient in this product. So Coors Longevity uses a trademarked form of gamma butyrobetaine ethyl ester in the form of Pro-GBB. It's actually a unique addition to this formula as we're using it in the, the less common usage of this ingredient. Uh, GBB is a naturally occurring molecule in the body that aids in boosting the non-essential amino acid L-carnitine. Everybody has heard of L-carnitine before, but it plays a key role in energy production by its ability to transport fatty acids into the cell's mitochondria, thus being able for those fatty acids to be used as energy. So in simplified terms, GBB increases L-carnitine in the body, which increases the mitochondria's ability to use fatty acids for energy. While this ingredient is typically found in thermogenics and other maybe pre-workout products or other fat burning products, um, its use here is to influence the use of fatty acids as a much more long-term usable fuel source for our body, brain, and nervous system, some of the other vital components in our body. It's important to know that we need fat in order to survive, and lipid metabolism is an important process needed for regulating the aging process. Um, our body needs, needs those fatty acids in order to function on a daily basis. Uh, our brain, nervous system, our uh, spinal cord lining is all you know, going to have a fatty layer uh, around it for you know, both support as well as uh, it does help um, with transmitting signals, but we need fat in order to survive. But when we can use fat as a much more usable fuel source, it can help you know, improve our body's ability at um, longevity. Estrogen is the next ingredient we're going to talk about here in Core's Longevity. Estrogen is a common ingredient that we, we have used in the past. You've seen it in, in maybe other companies' products, but estrogen is a trademark combination of both Astragalus and Panax Notoginseng, um, studied mainly for its benefits in improving absorption of nutrients, peptides, and other amino acids. Uh, of the statistics showing estrogen's benefits in relation to this formula, it's been shown to increase ATP production by the liver by upwards of 18%. It might be a small percentage, but 18% is still a... a reasonable amount of AT production that our body can, can use. Estrogen has been shown capable of increasing muscle protein synthesis and increased mTOR through enhanced leucine absorption, which has an influence on improved glucose metabolism and mitochondrial functions. In addition to this benefit, estrogen's ability to enhance polyunsaturated fatty acid absorption while also inhibiting sat saturated fatty acid absorption, thus reducing the risk of impaired glucose metabolism and mitochondrial function can enhance ATP synthesis through mitochondrial respiration and increase oxidative phosphorylation. It can also act as a potent free radical scavenger, which can increase its antioxidant properties against the peroxidation of membrane lipids, which can decrease mitochondrial function. So as you're seeing with a lot of these ingredients, the uh, influence that they're gonna have on the overall health and functioning of the mitochondria is of the utmost importance. 
The other added benefits are icing on the cake in, in relation to this, but mitochondrial function and that um, structure is the main focus of a lot of these ingredients. Uh, PQQ is the next ingredient. Um, we know that having more mitochondria present and their health has an impact on overall health, energy levels, inflammation levels, oxidative stress, uh, etc. But PQQ, also known as pyro pyroquinolone quinone, try to say that five times fast, is a powerful redox cofactor that can act as a pro-oxidant and antioxidant that protects cells in the human body from oxidative damage by restoring redox balance. It also been shown to support the metabolism of energy and healthy aging. Deficiency of PQQ has been shown in animal studies to lead to the reduction in number and size of the mitochondria by upwards of 20%. So when we don't have as much mitochondria, we're obviously going to be feeling a little more sluggish. Our power output's not going to be as high. Um, overall, the other processes within our body aren't going to be able to function, and we're going to you know, ultimately speed up that aging process. So when we can have more... Um, more mitochondria, more ability, and more you know, ability to have more power output, do the things that we wanna do, give ourselves you know, more of those powerhouses in order to function, the processes are gonna be you know, done at a much higher potential and greater potential for us to continue living. But PQQ supplementation can increase mitochondrial biogenesis, which is actually creating more mitochondria through a mechanism of action by activating proliferator-activated receptor gamma cofactor one alpha, and three, five cyclic adenosine monophosphate response element binding protein. That is a mouthful, but for ease of explanation, this activation can lead to improved mitochondrial generation, um, thus leading to more mitochondria being present within the human body. While exercise can indeed multiply mitochondria through biogenesis, PQQ supplementation can potentially work through mechanisms that build more mitochondria as well. So when exercise as we age becomes a little less frequent, our ability to stimulate mitochondria just naturally is going to um, come to a, a screeching halt. So PQQ supplementation can be an essential tool for actually increasing longevity um, as opposed to some of the other ways that we know how to. The last ingredient here is pyrimidine. So pyrimidine is a trademark form of spermidine trihydrochloride. So cells are involved in all of our body's processes and functions from metabolism, respiration, muscle growth, organ function. Our body is essentially controlled by cells and their actions. So everything that goes on inside, all of our actions that we do, so raising our hand, blinking our eyes, are all done with communication from our cells to other cells within the body. So just like our daily obligations require us to be attentive, fit, ready to take on tasks, so does our body rely on these cells to physically be capable enough of performing under the rigors that we put our bodies through. So we're under a lot of stress, what we eat, lack of sleep, physical stress that we put on our bodies, all of the cells take on the, the same toll that our outside you know, you know, skeleton ultimately takes. So our body utilizes several processes to ensure that our cells are able to perform their required capabilities. Apoptosis, or programmed cell death, or necrosis, or premature death, and autophagy, or disposing of defunct cells, ultimately recycling, uh, is one of these processes. So spermidine, a polyamine, is thought to enhance this process of autophagy. So think of it like a, a five-on-five -five basketball game. Five players, you know, they're starting that game at the most highest potential, highest energy. Some people can you know, last a little bit longer, but ultimately some might be slacking or their performance starts to go, so you have to sub them in. Ultimately, we're taking the person that's not doing you know, as well out, we're never gonna see them again, and we're replacing them with somebody else. So ultimately, they're getting traded from that team. Um, this recycling of defunct cells allows you know, them to then be used elsewhere in the body to maintain health, so they're getting shipped off somewhere else. This defense mechanism has been shown to support the regression of metabolic disorders, Neuro neurodegenerative disorders and signs of aging. So this process does slow with age, so utilizing tools that can help maintain the recycling process can be essential at prolonging longevity, and that's mainly what spermidine is going to be beneficial for. So to reiterate what we talked about in the beginning, while we can't stop ourselves or the essential components of our body from aging, we do have the ability to impact our lifespan in a positive way. So whether that's through improvements in our lifestyle, improving our diet, uh, making sure we are exercising on a regular basis or through you know, means of supplementation. Um, longevity can be a great addition to your lifestyle in that supplemental category. So 
combining all those things along with supplementation, you guys are going to be good to go to continue to lead a long, healthy life. Thanks.